Stuff happens, and that's when insurance really comes in handy. Now, having insurance helps a lot, but it doesn't mean all your health care is going to be free. There are lots of details about your insurance plan that affect how much you pay when you get sick or injured. <coughs> if you have Medicaid, a lot of these services could very well be free. Otherwise, you'll likely have to pay something when you go to the doctor or fill a prescription. This is called a copay when it's a specific dollar amount, like $25 per visit, or coinsurance if it's a percentage of the bill. There's also the deductible. That's how much comes out of your own pocket before your insurance starts paying. Depending on your plan, you might have a deductible for all your care, or it might only apply to some types of care, like hospital stays and prescriptions. So read your plan material, because it could add up to thousands of dollars. <laughs> Another important part of your plan is the out-of-pocket maximum. This is the most you'll ever have to pay in any one year, at least for the benefits your plan covers. Your insurer will pay 100% of anything beyond the maximum for the rest of the year. It can be just as confusing dealing with prescriptions. Your plan has a list of drugs it will pay for, called a formulary, but the prices vary. Check with your doctor or pharmacist because a generic drug might fix you up the same as a brand name drug, but the price difference could be huge. So, those are the costs typically involved. But remember that they'll be affected by your insurance plan's provider network. This is a list of doctors and hospitals that are connected to your plan. Insurance companies negotiate discounts with these providers. Stay in network and the discounts get passed to you. Go out of network and you could end up paying full price. And remember that out-of-pocket limit? It won't work if you go out of network. In some plans like HMOs or EPOs, your insurance would pay nothing if you go out of network. In other plans, like PPOs, your insurance will cover you no matter where you go, but you'll pay a lot more if you go out of network. Also, if you want to visit a specialist, like an orthopedist, some plans require a referral from your primary care doctor. Sound easy enough? Well, sometimes staying in network can be tricky. In a hospital, it's possible that your surgeon could be in network while your anesthesiologist is not. If this happens to you, don't be afraid to negotiate with your provider or file an appeal with your insurer.